Hello everyone, Delfino here. Uh, today I want to show how I managed to connect a solar uh, microinverter to my wind turbine, specifically a N phase microinverter, which is UL listed and a lot safer than those cheap Chinese grid tie inverters. Uh, the way I did this was by using a uh, classic uh, Midnight Classic uh, controller which uh, uh, helps me to limit how much uh, uh, voltage uh, actually reaches the end phase inverter to uh, prevent from burning out the uh, uh, DC input side. Uh, I have the uh, limit set to uh, 48 volt, which is the uh, maximum that the in-phase inverter can accept for uh, inverting into AC. And uh, in between that, or I should say parallel to that, is a super capacitor bank. And what this does is store the energy, uh, the wild energy that comes from the turbine system and stores it efficiently a lot more efficiently than batteries uh, so that the end phase inverter can take its sweet time and adjust uh, for the different voltages uh, uh, MPPT uh, uh, changes and uh, be able to uh, pick up that voltage whenever it can and invert it to AC. Even uh, if I lose grid power temporarily, the energy from the wind turbine can get uh, uh, stored in the supercapacitor bank. Each one of these <clears throat> is 16 volt. And so in series, uh, uh, allows me to uh, send up to 64 volts uh, of energy to uh, the supercapacitor bank. But uh, since the DC side maximum on the end phase inverter is 48 volts, I have that set as the maximum uh, voltage on the uh, classic controller. Uh, and the cool thing about the uh, 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 capacitor bank is that it will store that energy until the end phase inverter either wakes up or uh, comes back from a uh, power uh, outage, a grid, grid power outage, and uh, will build up voltage up to the maximum. So if the uh, inverter's off, it will uh, turn on uh, when the AC side is, uh, or grid is reestablished, and uh, start inverting whatever's left in here. Uh, from uh, uh, 22 volts all the way up to 48 volts. And as long as the uh, turbine is producing power, it will keep that uh, uh, supercapacitor bank charged up. And uh, since the end phase inverter can only, uh, uh, a single inverter can, can invert up to 250 watts, if uh, it'll always keep the voltage, um, it'll always try to invert everything that's in this uh, supercapacitor bank all the way down to about 16 volts. And uh, if it can't keep up, if there's more energy in the uh, turbine, it, it'll store it in the supercapacitor bank and the voltage will climb and continue climbing all the way up to 48 volts. And the inverter, meanwhile, is will keep inverting its little head off. You can add additional inverters, which I plan to do, uh, much like I have here in a similar setup with my solar. I don't have my inverters set up on each solar panel. I have all my DC coming in to a charge controller from my solar array into a DC bus and then inverted by in phase inverters. So, if anybody has any questions, just leave them in the comments and uh, I will try to explain this uh, further. Okay?
Thank you. Bye now.